Students in Sussex are sick with pertussis, also known as the whooping cough. Now, health experts want parents to be alert. Our Shannon Sims is live in Sussex with a story. Shannon. Carol, three of the four cases are students here at Hamilton High School. Now, tonight we talked with parents who say they're simply reminding their kids to wash their hands often and to cover their mouths when they cough. This afternoon, the Hamilton School District emailed a letter alerting parents of three confirmed cases of pertussis at Hamilton High School. She has the vaccination, so you would hope that she wouldn't get it. And I said, you guys know this is going on. Be careful. And they're like, oh, okay. Earlier in the week, parents at Templeton Middle School learned a seventh grader had also contracted the contagious virus. It's so simple, and it's like, do you have hand sanitizer in your locker? Those type of things. And... You know, and I don't know how much the district stresses that with the students. It's unclear if any of the four kids are siblings or live in the same house. Pertussis, also known as whooping cough, can be deadly for infants and those with weak immune systems. Patients can cough so hard from whooping cough that they actually vomit after coughing. And not just once or twice, but it happens quite regularly because of the forceful coughing. ER Dr. Jawad Khan with Wheaton Franciscan says as physicians test more for whooping cough, the more they're finding adolescents and adults contracting the virus. One would think that if you got a vaccination early on in life that you would have lifelong immunity, but we're learning that for some of these vaccines that's not the case. Whooping cough happens to be one of them. Now, it takes about seven to 10 days before you see any signs or symptoms, but much of it starts like the common cold, red, watery eyes, fever, runny nose, and that uncontrollable cough. But as Dr. Khan told us tonight, if you don't see any of those signs, you're probably okay, especially if you consider yourself to be healthy. Reporting live in Sussex, Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4.